Fast with Michelle. We're under pinpoint weather alert on this Friday morning, and here is Michelle with the reason why. Well, Patrick, it's because of a really cold, sort of messy day that's on the way for us. I don't expect any significant impacts on our roadways. They're going to remain mostly wet, despite the fact that not only will we see some cold rain, but at times some sleet and some wet snow. Here's the look at the radar right now and already tracking a little bit of light precipitation. This may be falling as a few sprinkles, flurries or even ice pellets. We've got some reports of some sleet over areas um, from Danbury, Connecticut and along and just north of uh, 95 through that part of Connecticut. So we're going to keep an eye on this as it pushes eastward. Some light showers for the morning commute. Threat tracker today and Saturday elevated medium threat level. We're talking about some heavy rainfall. I think probably the primary impact for us and that's going to fall later this evening and through the nighttime hours tonight. So heaviest late in the day. Uh, any accumulations for us going to be mostly off of the roadways. So your grass, your decks, your car tops could see some slushy small accumulations and even those are mostly confined to far northern Rhode Island. The cold rain continues. Still may see a little bit of mixing on Saturday. Gusts up to 35 and 45 miles per hour. Weather alert for a winter weather advisory that's only northwestern Rhode Island right now. That area is shaded in purple. As we look at our conditions at Oakland Beach and Warwick, we are quiet at the moment and we are above freezing. So anything that's falling going to be melting as it hits the roadways, accumulating snow mostly north of the Mass Pike, but even the Boston area is set to get several inches of snow. They're under a winter weather advisory. These areas of pinks that you see higher elevations is sort of an elevation based storm here as we head into the end of March and early April tomorrow. Here's the system coming in. Satellite and radar shows some light spotty precipitation for the morning hours. This area of low pressure going to redevelop into a coast Coastal storm off of the mid Atlantic coastline by late this evening. And then from there, it's going to be tracking to the south of us in a path that's going to bring some heavy rain and eventually some gusty winds, too. So, again, expecting to be really just sort of a nasty stretch of weather, unfortunately. Here's the future cast at 7 o'clock. No big issues through the morning commute. We've got just some light precipitation by midday, starting to see it pick up in coverage. So, more widespread, but not necessarily the heavy precipitation yet. And again, and even where we are seeing some wintry weather, this is likely to melt as it hits the pavement. Our temperatures are expected to be above freezing mid to upper 30s. Evening commute looking at some rain, that rain mixing with some sleet and some wet snow. There could be quite a bit of sleet. Northern Rhode Island through the evening hours, some wet snow at times too. And again, this is when you start to pick up your accumulations on your grass and car tops. This is some heavy rain Providence southward that continues all night long. 7 a.m. tomorrow morning cold, heavy rain falling. There could be some street flooding, some poor drainage flooding. Winds are picking up at that point too, gusting up to 40 miles per hour. It could end the day with some wet snow. Again, for Saturday, going to hang on to the cloud cover, the damp conditions all day long, and then dry things out overnight. So a coating of snow, a possible Providence, West Warwick, Coventry, one to three inches in Woonsocket, Burrowville, Foster, Gloucester, uh, Cumberland could see one to possibly three inches of snow on your grass. As we look at our rain Rainfall future cast heavy rain could see more than two inches of rainfall by the time this is out of here Saturday evening and Saturday night and our temperatures today only going to be barely budging mid to upper 30s throughout the daytime today and it's a similar situation for your Saturday upper 30s in the morning uh, dropping to about 36 at 8 o'clock in the evening as we move towards Sunday it's looking a lot better that's more like it if you liked yesterday you'll like Sunday. We'll still be a little bit breezy, but bright, dry and high temperatures climbing to near 50. Monday, similar 50 degrees. Another storm system on Tuesday could bring some moderate rainfall and looking ahead later Thursday into Friday. Yet another system could bring some moderate precipitation into southern New England. I mean, there are groans and sighs and miserable people here uh, as we take a look at this. Uh, what will be the first week of April in southern